Hey yo GG, welcome to my big year-end top 20 K-pop songs video. In this series I present you my favorite releases of this year. To make it simpler, I only focus on title tracks for my ranking, so B-sides or OSTs won't be part of the series. Please keep in mind that all of this is based on only my personal opinions, so if you disagree with my list, let me know your opinions in the comments below. And now, have fun with the positions 20 to 60. Number 20. So What by Luna Starting off my end of the year list with a first time appearance. Luna and I have had quite an intense year together. I watched basically everything there is to watch regarding the group and got to know every aspect of them. With my favorite being this song. The lyrics speak about being fearless and don't let yourself get undermined or discouraged by the world around you. If you want to do or achieve something, go for it, without betting an eye how other people might see you for doing so. Do not accept the fate of the moon. Burn yourself. Quite an intriguing statement. By the way, how all of this actually fits into the lunar verse will definitely not be covered in this video, since that would take an entire series of videos on its own. But if you are interested in getting into that, I recommend you to reserve a lot of time. Number 19. Girls by Nature. A turn of 180 degrees. With girls, Nature has done one of the, if not the, most drastic changes in concept since SNSD from O to Run Devil Run. Girls tells the story of a girl that is struggling with love. For the first time, she gave her innocent heart away, only to find it getting toyed with. The lyrics themselves already show signs of a more serious topic getting handled in the song. But, especially in combination with the music video, the song truly packs a punch. Courage needs to be rewarded. A drastic change in concept always brings a lot of risk. Even more if you decide to jump into a musical genre which is highly unique and serious. The release of Girls brought a new and fresh wind to K-pop which I can only hope will be continued. Number 18 Wannabe by Itzy. I wanna be me. Well, duh, if I was you girls, I would like to be me too. With Wannabe, Itzy did what is 
if you take a look at their previous releases, simply a logical continuation of their musical style. But even though also their previous songs were great, with this they brought it to the highest level possible. With Wannabe, Itzy continues to tell a story of confidence and self-love. The song wants to tell us to believe in ourselves, that we don't have to fit the norm and that the only way to live a truly happy life is to be yourself, without minding other people's opinions. <laughs> now, did you get as much of a confidence boost from this as I did? If not, don't worry, Itzy got your back and will the way it looks at least, continue to give us all even more lessons in being who we are. Number 17. Eclipse by Moon Mule. Why pursue a cute, innocent concept when you can just be a complete badass? Moonbuild's way of performing has always been a quite unique and cool one. And with Eclipse, she managed to even display that in a song that is grabbing you by the balls and rubbing you her charisma right into your face. The lyrics give off a fascinating apocalyptic feeling due to it speaking about an unstoppable darkness that is approaching. But instead of fearing the endless night, Moonbill will rise up to be our star, shining through the stars. Out of all the solos Mamamoo has released this year, I really have to say that this one is by far my favorite. It is just hitting differently, shows Moonbeal's strengths in every aspect and lets her shine the way she is supposed to. Number 16, What Do I Call You, by Taeyeon. The freshest entry in my entire ranking. Shortly before I started writing together my picks, Taeyeon released her new song to give us all a nice little pre-Christmas gift. Haters will say that I purposely waited for the song to be released to finalize my ranking, but <laughs> that's of course absolutely outrageous. What do I call you describes a feeling the most of us probably know pretty well. How do you behave around a former partner? It is not like there are still feelings involved, but do you simply pretend like the relationship never happened? Like, what exactly do you call that person? The song is for me a really interesting one. Like, not only is the topic quite, let's say, trivial, but also the presentation of it all in both song and music video are super unagitated. The whole package feels quite non-emotional and mature and still draws you in. Oh, and by the way, Tay, you can call me whatever you want. So what do I call you now? And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to let me know your personal rankings in the comments below. So now, 
Thank you for your attention and bye!